After being forced to wait in Mexico in often inhumane conditions, dozens of migrants seeking asylum have finally been allowed to enter the United States. This reversal of the Trump administration's immigration policy comes as human rights groups criticize the dangers these families endured, some for as long as two years. News 8's Richard Allen has more. Well, that's right. Those 25 asylum seekers allowed to cross into the U.S. today first had to test negative for coronavirus and now have to quarantine for 10 days at a local hotel. After that, they will move on for the most part to stay with family members in the U.S. as they await their court hearings. So today was a day of joy, a day of hope. Hope for 25 migrants, primarily from Central America, seeking asylum, finally allowed to cross into the United States on Monday as they await their court hearings. Congresswoman Nanette Barragan from Los Angeles traveled to the San Ysidro port of entry to witness the process and to speak one-on-one -on -one with the families. It brought tears to my eyes that that little girl who's three years old had to spend a year and a half on the street, an encampment, um, and then in a foreign country under, you know, conditions that were not America and, and inhumane. These families seeking asylum along with tens of thousands of others had been forced to remain in Mexico under the Trump administration's Migrant Protection Protocols Program, launched in 2019 to deter immigration. Earlier this month, President Joe Biden announced the end of that directive. I'm not making new law. I'm eliminating bad policy. In total, more than 65,000 immigrants were forced to return to Mexico under Trump's policy. Barragan says the conditions that they lived in, some for as many as two years, were dangerous and in some cases even deadly. We are hearing stories of women that have been raped, um, cartels getting to migrants and trying to use them for their own benefit. Um, deaths as well. Cramped conditions during the pandemic also posed other risks. You have families congregating together very close by to other families, and that is a hazard when it comes to COVID-19. And currently about 25 migrants per day are being processed at each port of entry, although Customs and Border Protection has plans to ramp up to process up to 300 migrants per day eventually.